Hi guys! Welcome to our weekend sales video. Milo wants to say hi. So if this is your first time on my channel then welcome and if it's your second or third or fourth time then welcome back and thank you guys for coming back. If you have never been here before and you're not subscribed then go ahead and hit subscribe please and um this video is going to be about, I'm rubbing Milo's belly, so that's why I like my arms moving all around over here because he needs belly rubs. Um, so this video is going to be about my weekend sales. Um, I had a pretty good sales weekend. It's been really good sales like the whole past month actually, but um, had a particularly good sales weekend. So I just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. My goal for the weekend was $600. I hit $572. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what sold, um, how I got the sale, if I sent an offer to Likers, if it was a bundle, where the sale came from, and also where did the inventory come from because a lot of it actually was my own personal items and a few items were from mystery boxes. So I will show you the items right here in this area, they'll pop up and um, I'll give you all the numbers right over here. So thanks for joining again and stay tuned for all the details. All right. I wrote the item and um, how the sale came through and what was the total price and the net price. So I'm gonna be looking at this notebook a lot and also please excuse me because I have like a really stuffy weird throat thing going on. It's been going on for like a few days. Um, so if I'm like clearing my throat a lot, please forgive me. Okay, so I had a $572 sales weekend, and after fees and after shipping cost, it was $437.62. So it was about $140 in fees and shipping. So a lot of the offers that came through were from buyers, so there was no shipping discount, but there were quite a few offers that I did send out to clear out some inventory. Um, that I either sent free shipping with or $1.50 shipping discount. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right here what came through, how it came through, all the goods. So the first thing, this is by the way, um, from Friday to Sunday evening. I didn't count anything after like midnight on Sunday evening. One sale was a pair of J. Crew earrings. So I'll show you those right here. They're the J. Crew Dangle earrings. They were actually mine. I bought them on Poshmark last year and I wore them like maybe one time. So I just decided they weren't really my style and decided to list them. So I did send this buyer um, after they liked the earrings shortly after I sent it to them in a bundle and then I commented and I will show you here also what it is that I send to people when I'm sending out bundles. I keep it saved as a shortcut on my keyboard so I can easily send out these offers and um, comments to buyers. So I sent it to her in the bundle after she liked it. I left a comment. I sent her an offer. It was not including a shipping discount, but they were listed at $39 and I sent her an offer for $29 without any shipping discounts and she accepted. So it was a $29 sale and I net $23.20. The next item was this Zara tank. You can see Meredith here modeling it. She's really cute and everything. So everything looks good on her. <laughs> um, it came from a mystery box and I'm not really sure which mystery box it came from. I don't remember. Um, but that's not an item I would usually pick up. Zara doesn't move that fast for me. Um, so I probably would not pick up this item again. And it was probably listed for around two and a half months. Um, so I decided I wanted to get it out of my closet and make room for some new inventory. Um, so I sent it to a bundle after someone liked it, I commented and I sent her an offer for $18. I had it listed at $29 and I also sent her a $1.50 shipping discount and she accepted. So it was $18, $1.50 shipping discount. Um, so I net $12.90 on this tank. 
Next item were these Dolce Vita sneakers. They're really cute espadrille canvas sneakers. Those were actually mine also. I bought them for myself and I ended up never wearing them. So I decided to put them on Poshmark since the season is pretty much over for those now. And I already got myself a pair of Supergas. Is that how you say it? Maybe I got myself a pair of Supergas to make up for all the sneakers that I never wear and am selling. So I got myself a replacement pair already. Um, this also was from a bundle commenting an offer after someone liked the item. So I sent her a $19 offer. They were listed at $29. I did not send her a shipping discount and I net $15.20 on this sale. The next item, surprise, it's also one of my own personal items. They were a pair of LuLaRoe leggings. The print was just really busy for me. I don't know why I even bought them. Um, I did buy them from a retailer last fall, like a LuLaRoe distributor. So I believe I would have paid $19 for them. I think that's the cost of LuLaRoe leggings. So I had them listed at $15. Someone bought them full price. Um, so I did not send an offer, did not send a bundle, nothing like that. Somebody just bought them right out. Um, so for $15, I net $12 on that sale. The next item is a pair of cabbie jeans. This also is an item that's pretty much out of season now. Um, people aren't really wearing white jeans in the winter time. So this is an item I decided I wanted to get out of my closet and make some space for new winter items. So I did send out a 30% off shipping discount or I'm sorry, a 30% off sale discount and free shipping on this item. So I sent out a $27 offer with free shipping. So on this, after fees and after the shipping discount, I did net $15.11. That's a sale that I'm still happy with. I would definitely pick up this item again. I have sold cabbie jeans before and I do like selling them. I like selling cabbie pieces. I do like their things and I have bought cabbie full price from distributors for myself before and the pieces are really well made. They really stand up um, to the test of time and washing and all that. So I do like cabbie and I would pick that piece up again. Um, the next piece that sold was this Theory striped sweater. It's a really, really cute sweater. It looks black kind of in the photos, but it is a really rich, dark navy blue. I love it. That was the first Theory piece that I ever found before, so I was super happy when I found it. And it's like a really modern piece. Also, it doesn't look like an older style to me. Um, so someone sent me a $40 offer on this, and I did accept I believe I had it listed at 68 um, but I was still happy with the $40 offer and I didn't want to lose a sale over sending them a counter offer for like five more dollars or ten more dollars. So I accepted the $40 offer and I'm a firm believer that one sale being accepted or making one sale brings in more sales as opposed to declining offers or whatever else. So I was perfectly happy to accept that. I was on a roll. I had been accepting like a ton of offers. So I was happy to accept that one also. And um, I did get that item from Plato's Closet and I would happily buy that item again or a similar item. I thought it was a really good piece. So that was a $40 offer and I net $32 on that sale. The next item was actually another one of my own personal items. It was this white J. Crew linen blazer. And again, I was happy to send out offers on this item. It's not really in season anymore. So I did send out offers to Likers with free shipping. It was a 30% off offer with free shipping. Um, so I was just happy to make some space in my closet for new items for this upcoming season and for winter season already for all of you who live in cold areas. Um, so I sent out a $34 offer with free shipping on this and I net $20.71. The next item actually is a little bit funny. It's one of the first items I ever bought to resell once I started Poshmark full time. And it was one of the oldest listed items in my closet and I had actually planned on re-photographing it and relisting it this week. And someone sent me a perfectly reasonable offer. I had it listed for 26 and someone sent me an offer for $20 and I saw that it was going to California. So maybe it's still warm where she lives or maybe she has a vacation planned, but it's a really, really cute dress. I love it. 
Um, I love loft pieces. So someone sent me $20 offer off of $26 and I happily accepted that offer. So I net $16 for that sale. The next item that sold were these suede, pseudo suede, I believe they were called, anthro leggings that I loved. I wish they were my size. I've been on the hunt for a pair. If you have a pair, leave it below in the comments that you have a pair in your Poshmark closet or your eBay store or wherever, and I will happily buy them in a size large or a size extra large. Um, these were a size medium. They are perfect for this season. They're just like so they're so good they have the elastic waistband like they're a great pair of leggings so I believe I had these listed for about two and a half weeks and I did have them listed pretty high I think I had them listed for $38 and someone sent me a $20 offer but I looked at comps and it seemed to be pretty reasonable to other recent solds so I did go ahead and accept that offer of $20 from that buyer. So sometimes I feel like somebody sends you a kind of low offer. Okay, you know what? You got a really great deal. I'm moving pieces. Like it was, I had a really strict goal. I was trying to hit $600. So I was pretty much accepting any offer that came in. So that was a $20 sale and I net $16 on that sale. The next item that sold was this Frank and Eileen Italian twill button up top it actually had pretty much no interest on Poshmark at all and I was uh, kind of worrying about it because this is supposed to be a popular brand that I've heard a lot about and I've seen it on a lot of bolo list so I was kind of surprised that it didn't have that much interest um, so someone sent me an offer for $38 I had it listed for 70 I think um, but when that offer came through, I looked at recent comps and it also seemed to be pretty reasonable to the other items that were selling from that brand in that size in a solid color. I looked and it seemed like patterns sell, um, on the higher end for that brand. So I received that $38 offer and I happily accepted that offer also. I net $30.40 that came from a mystery box and I would probably pick up that piece again. I think it's a good classic piece. You just have to wait for the right buyer to come for a piece like that. It's not really like something super trendy that seems uh, the trendier items seem to go a little bit more quickly on Poshmark. So I was happy to get rid of that like kind of more mature piece off of Poshmark and um, for that price I thought it was pretty reasonable so I'd probably pick up that piece again if I saw it and I actually do have another Frank and Eileen button up um, listed in my closet right now that I personally sourced for my closet it did not come from a mystery box so I'm pretty happy with that sale also um, the next item that sold were these really really cool Zara boots if I ever found these again, I would definitely pick them up. Like I said earlier, I don't usually pick up Zara, but these boots were awesome. When I think of Zara, this is more the kind of piece that I think of as opposed to the tank that I showed you guys earlier. Um, I did personally source this item in Virginia over the summer when I was visiting my family. I'm from Virginia, so I was there visiting over the summer. I did list these over the summer and they had a lot of interest, but they had not sold. And recently I've been selling a lot of boots, so I did decide to upgrade my photo, um, my cover photo on Friday and also relist these items. And this actually sold the very next day. So in less than 24 hours after being relisted, these sold after they had been listed for probably about four months. Um, I decided to relist and that is when I usually relist items and these sold in less than 24 hours. So super happy with this sale. I had them listed for $99. They are a size five, so that's a smaller size. Um, so that's kind of why I thought they were sitting for a while because they were really small size but they did sell for $85. Someone sent me an $85 offer and I was perfectly happy to accept that offer. I thought it was a really good price and super happy with that. So they were listed at 99. I accepted an offer for 85. So I net $68 on this sale and I was so happy to sell those and I really hope the buyer loves them. I thought those boots 
were awesome. If I found them in my size, I would probably keep them. The next item that sold was this new with tags LuLaRoe skirt. Um, this actually is something that I bought for myself to wear to Posh Fest and I ended up not wearing it. So it was new with tags. I bought it at Plato's Closet at the beginning of this month. Actually, the day before I left for Posh Fest, I think because I was like frantically going around looking for an outfit and couldn't think of what I wanted to wear. So I went and bought this at Plato's the day before I left for Posh Fest. I ended up not wearing it and it's definitely not something I would wear in my normal life. So I decided to sell it. And these skirts, it's called the Lucy skirt in the um, this kind of like metallic or the other items um they have like some brocade ones were part of a special collection so they're kind of sought after pieces so i do like picking up kind of rare lularoe pieces this skirt was new at tags so that was even better i had it listed at 99 but i actually was having a 50 percent off skirts and dresses sale uh last week so someone sent me a 50 dollar offer for this off the 99 dollar price and I accepted that during the 50% off sale. Um, so it was probably listed about three weeks. And if I found another one, I would definitely pick it up again. So I net $40 on this $50 sale. And I'm perfectly happy with that also. The next item that sold was this loft button up white top um it's sleeveless it has really pretty jewels around the neck that was actually one of my own personal items also that i no longer fit so i decided to list it on poshmark it had been listed for pretty much the whole summer and i had just uh lowered the price to ten dollars on friday i think it was and um somebody sent me a five dollar offer and i went ahead and accepted it because i would like to just see those summer pieces gone out of my closet so i can make space like i said earlier so i only net two dollars and five cents on this sale but like i said i'm still happy to get rid of that piece and make room for winter items um so i was happy to let that go for five dollars so um, these sales are actually from Saturday and Saturdays are the day that I don't work so I only shared my closet at nighttime on Saturday to the last party and actually I didn't even share it my assistant who does my listing and sharing she shared my closet once on Saturday evening around 11 I think it was and she sent out a few offers to likers but I don't think any of these sales came from offers to likers if I remember yeah, none of these came from Offer Slikers. These were all um, sales that people sent offers on. And um, my assistant, she knows what items, what prices I will accept. So she pretty much accepted most of these offers for me. Okay, so this next item also sold on Saturday. It was this really cute vintage silk J. Crew bag with the hunting dogs on it. It's such a cute bag. I did source this item. I really just thought it was adorable and super nostalgic and perfect for the season with the little hunting dogs on it. Uh, that was listed about a month. If I saw another one of these, I would definitely pick it up. And I did check comps and I priced it pretty high compared to what had been selling at it seemed to have been selling for around 10 15 dollars um i did list mine at 39 i thought it was worth it it's a really cute unique piece and someone sent me an offer for 36 dollars and that price was accepted so after after the 36 dollars i net 24 dollars um after fees so the next item that sold was actually a sale from Instagram. Someone commented and they saw that I was doing mystery boxes um, for styled fall outfits. She saw it on my Instagram and she came to my Poshmark closet and left a comment and said she wanted to uh, get a mystery box. So she purchased a mystery box off of my Poshmark. It was a $59 sale and all the mystery boxes include two tops, um, a jacket or a cardigan and an accessory. So she got those pieces for $59 and um, it was a full price sale. Um, I net $47.20 after that, the fees for Poshmark on that item. Then this also sold on Friday. This was another dress that was on sale for 50% off. It was a Tahari dress and I actually relisted it either Thursday night or Friday morning, I can't remember, but we took this new cover photo with my model 
and then we listed it, well, re-listed it. We deleted the old listing and put up this new listing with the new photo. And it was listed for $49 and someone sent an offer for $25 and I did go ahead and accept that because it was 50% off. So I net $20 on this $25 sale. The next item that sold was this kimchi blue wrap felted tunic. It's a perfect color for fall. I also sourced this item and it's been sitting for about a month and a half. If I found this again, I would probably purchase it again if it was, um, depending on the season, because I did think it was a cute piece for the season, but I do not usually pick up kimchi blue or urban outfitters pieces unless i think they're really unique or really on trend and something that i think will go quickly so this sat for maybe a month and a half at the most and um i was happy to accept someone's offer for 19 dollars on this piece so i net 15 dollars and 20 cents after the 19 dollar offer this next sale actually also came from the bundle comment offer that I was talking about earlier. So she liked this item, I sent it to her in a bundle, then I sent her a comment and I offered her $22 on it. These pants were actually mine. Um, I bought them for myself last year on ThreadUp and I never purchased, I never wore them. So I posted those on Poshmark also and I was happy to let these go. They've been sitting for probably two months I'm gonna say there's just a classic mature piece like I said um, that doesn't seem to move that quickly on Poshmark but I definitely think my modeled photos are helping the mature pieces move a little faster which I'm happy with um, so I sent a $22 offer and she accepted that offer so I net $17.60 and the last item, this was item number 19, were these Nike leggings. They only were listed for, I believe, two days, and they got a lot of interest really quickly. So I did go ahead and send out offers to Likers on that for 10% off and $1.50 off shipping, which is a much less generous offer than I usually send. I usually start at at least 20% off and I almost always send free shipping offers, but they seem to get a lot of interest really quickly. So that told me that they were a popular item. So I did decide to only send out a 10% off offer and $1.50 off shipping and someone immediately accepted. So these sold for $17 minus the $1.50 shipping and that net $12.10. And I was happy with that because um, they only sat for less than a day. So I'm happy to move inventory really quickly. So that is all the items that sold. It was 19 items total, $572 in sales, $437.62 net after fees and shipping costs. And I will go ahead and break down right here on the side um, what was my average sales price and what was, that's it. Sorry, just my average sales price. I'll break it down over here also. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Um, I hope it can help you decide what to pick up when you're outsourcing or what not to pick up when you're outsourcing. I will probably reference back to this for myself also and see what were items that moved quickly. And um, if you have any questions, then please go ahead and leave it below in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then give it a thumbs down, I guess. Um, but thank you guys for watching again. Thank you for coming back to my channel or thank you for visiting for the first time. I hope you'll subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future videos or if you have any other questions to ask me about what sold over the weekend or anything else reselling related, then go ahead and ask me in the comments or go ahead and message me on Instagram. I will also put my Instagram and Poshmark closet name below. It is Milo's Market on both platforms. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again soon.